What's up guys, welcome to the channel, the play where we talk about the music, the music industry and the music business. Few weeks ago, someone wrote to me from the United States and he said uh, he owns a record label in Nigeria and he has spent over $30,000 on his artists, yet there is no fame. So I tried to, distort, to study the case and I discovered that the manager of the record labels knows nothing about the internet. So basically, they'll be spending over thirty thousand dollars. That is quite a huge amount of money in Nigeria on the music promotion, but they'll be doing it on radio stations, on TV stations, simultaneously. Now, this is a waste of money. A lot of artists believe that for them to be famous or become a celebrity, they need to appear on TV station. But that was a traditional way. So today I want to tell you the promotion strategy that works right now in the world that we are currently living in. If you are new here, my name is Prince Theophilus. I'm a talent manager, a promoter and a social media strategist. And of course, I'm the founder of Tipsoul Entertainment, a talent management and a promotion company. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell button so you don't miss other amazing videos like this. Let's dive in. Yeah, welcome back. So first of all, I need to make you understand something. Music promotion is not about money. It's about strategy. Yes, it's about money. But what if you have the money, but you don't have the strategy? You are going to be spending the money in the wrong way. And at the end of the day, you might be frustrated and probably give up on the music career. So many artists believe that they need to appear on TV for interview or their song need to be heard on radio stations before they become celebrity. But that is not a definition of becoming a celebrity. Now let me give you a very good example. Omale was promoted and it blew within three months. Basically, the strategy that was used to promote Omale was the social media and streaming platform promotions. Now, this work like fire, but the fact is that it requires a lot of money, actually. And of course, if you want to promote your music as an artist, put the money into the, in, into the promotion. You understand? Okay, let me give you an example. If you are any $100 every month, and out of that $100, you are using $50 to promote your music every month, I will practically tell you that you are wasting that money. Instead, save that $50 for like 6 months or more. You can save it for like 10 months. The problem is a lot of artists are very impatient. They just want to blow. And they'll bring out the song and they say, ah, this song is a hit. I want this song to go out there. This song must blow and this. And when you ask them the budget of the song, they might end up telling that their budget is 10,000 Naira. So heartbreaking. So, I'm not saying that 10,000 Naira cannot promote a music. At least with 10,000 Naira, which is like, like uh, which is around $20. Of, of course, like your friends can hear your song, your family can hear your song, and maybe few other fans on the internet can hear your song. But, is that really the promotion? Now, you need to have the bigger picture. Where did you want to see yourself in five years? Then you plan towards that five years. If you know you don't have enough money to start the promotion, what you need to do is that start with covers. I've said it is I've said this in almost all the videos I have on this channel. Start with covers, start off, start with freestyles. But I recommend covers because covers is an easy to, for people to relate with. But unfortunately, some artists or most artists feel they are more than covers. So they put out their freestyle, they put out their original content there, at the end of the day they get exhausted, then probably they stop promoting their song. So what I'm trying to say is that if you want to promote your song and you want people to hear you, to listen to that song, save money for it. Don't put peanut. Putting peanut into your promotion is like putting a cup of sugar in an ocean, then you are stirring it and you are expending you are expecting it to be sweet. It is not possible. 
So it's not you put in the money or you hold on. Why you are holding on and saving money, you are building your fan base with covers. That is the best way to promote your song. Now, if another mistake most artists make is if they want to promote them songs, their songs, they believe in just putting the song on nigerflavor.com, Niger Loaded, Too Exclusive, Audio Mank, and that is all. The first thing you need to protect as an artist is your copyright. And the only way you can pro- you can protect that copyright is by distributing your song on all digital platforms. First thing you need to do. Rocket Man said that when he released his first song, the song that actually took him to limelight, he did not make a dime from the song because he had no idea who uploaded the song on digital platforms. So if you did not upload your song first of all on digital platforms and the song actually blew up, then you might end up losing your royalties for life. Now imagine that song worth up to at least or make up to 50 million dollars, you are going to lose it. So make sure the first thing you do is to put your song on digital platform and there are tricks to this. There are strategies to this. Everybody can upload song on digital platform, but not everybody know how to do it in a way that you'll be, you'll be able to get streams and also be able to see yourself in top playlists. Now this, this is strategy. For example, Boomplay is an emerging streaming platform that is taking over the whole Africa. So as an African artist, especially in Nigeria, if you want to drop your song or if you release your song, make sure you focus it on Boomplay playlisting. It's very important because it's going to make people from your country know you. Boomplay, Boomplay is currently in several African countries, so it's going to help your music grow in Africa. Then also make sure that you find yourself on Spotify playlist and of course on Apple Music playlist. These things are very, very essential. So getting your song on all these platforms does not stop there, but you need to follow it up with promotion on those digital platforms and of course using influencers and viral videos to push your song. And another big way to push your song again is TikTok competition. Now you don't need to pay an influencer because paying a TikTok influencer is going to be way more expensive. But what if you go directly through the TikTok company and promote your song through them? Now they're going to give your song to about 500 to, to 1000 influencers with at least 1 million followers to vibe to your song. That is why you see most artists drop their song and you see the white people vibing to their song and all over before you do this song start trending on TikTok. And from TikTok, so many people discover the song and they go to, you know, they use Shazam to know who sing the song. From there, they go ahead, stream the song, and before you know, the artist has come to limelight. Limelight. So many artists has blown with this format, with this strategy. So instead of you to waste your money on radio and TV station, put the money on 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 TikTok promotion, put the money with influencers, then put the money on on a on Facebook promotions. It is way far better. Then this now let me um. Fuck me. Now let me arrange it properly. If you want to drop your song, put your song on digital platforms. If you don't know how to do it, make sure you get a promoter to help you do it because you might know how to put it there, but you don't know how to put it on playlists and other streaming so that you can get enough streams. Then after that, make sure you get it on promotion on streaming platform. For example, Spotify is now in Nigeria. You can promote your song on Spotify. You can promote your song on Boomplay, on Apple Music, or you use Facebook promotion or Google promotion to drive traffic to your song. And if you want to know how to run Google promotion, you can click the link here. If you also want to know how to run Facebook promotion for your music, you can also click the link here. So those, these two links will show you directions on how to run Facebook promotion for your music and Google ad promotion for your music. So. That is all I want to talk about today. So basically, I mean, don't use radio stations. Don't waste money on it. Few uh, about a month ago, I started promoting one of my artists through um, digital platform, social media, influencers, and all that. And guess what? Just about four days ago, the top radio station in the country are following the artist up. They started following him up, you know, 
playing his song on the station and all that. I didn't pay for that. I just used his social media strategy. And before you know it, they started playing the artist's song. It is their job to play because once that song goes viral, they have no choice than to play it. And you see all these OAPs and DJ, they are always on streaming platform to see the top, the songs that are top 100, the songs that are top 10, top 5, top. So once your song can make it to top 100 on any digital streaming platform, trust me, you are on your way up to the radio stations already. Then if you have a video, trust me, they are going to play the video because the song is already topping on streaming platforms. Then influencers will drive traffic to your song because the moment the influencers keep now if you want to give us something to influencers the influencers shouldn't post you once except several influencers I are going to post you at once for example you have five influencers and you don't have enough money use one instead of you to pay the five influencers sorry instead of you to pay the five influencers you can pay one influencer at least to post you for three times because people will believe that you are trending when that influencer posts you like three times but if they post you at the same time what am i saying what am i saying fuck me okay so another strategy is you can give the song to all the five influencers then give them time to post it at once now this will make people believe that you are trending and they want to check you out but if you pay only one influencer and the content that you get to the influencer is not catchy enough trust me you are going to waste money so if you have a song already you are promoting look for a content creator that can create good content for you a content that will market it without draw people's attention they promote that content on social media platform and with influencers this will also help the promotion of your music so that will be all for today if you're new to this channel we talk about the music industry and the music business on this channel of course tell emerging artists and independent artists the secret of music promotion and the music industry so if you are new here don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell button so you will not miss other amazing videos like this thank you for watching see you next time